you. Thank you for being here. This is Cello Pete. Can't get any more sunshine. I can't get over it. 
That's okay. Mm -hmm. I just showed you that. This is called Constant Street. It's from my new record. I never say shit like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was just thinking about the actual street because I just showed him a picture of it. It's this cool street in New Orleans in the Irish Channel. It's uh, it was horrible, <laughs> but cool, horrible. I was biking home with my little boy once on Constant Street, and he stopped his bike like the brakes screamed like car brakes. And he said, all scars are beautiful because you lived. <laughs> That's it, the end. <laughs> Yeah. 
in the bar where the merch booth is. There, I did it. I'm done. We're selling lots of things there. You should buy all of them. <laughs> merch is short for merchandise, and we are merchants. I am, anyway. He's a snooty classical guy. So doesn't dabble in that shit. <laughs> in this part of this book, which is a memoir, uh, I am on my honeymoon making a, a documentary on ostrich ranching in Texas. <laughs> so we've all been there. <laughs> when dawn happened, the cold was a chilled pink, and ostrich silhouettes appearing on the prairie. They ran and stopped short, froze. I felt for them, I felt sad for them. My heart went out to these strange beasts lost in Texas, which is maybe patronizing, maybe anthropomorphizing, maybe projection. They may not have felt as lost as they looked, but they definitely looked lost. It was the way they stared into the distance, then ran toward it, stopping when they got close. The people in this town had adopted a look sometime in the 50s, and I guess stuck with it. Mostly just Elvis. <laughs> Elvis and Mrs. Elvis and all their little Elvis juniors, because Elvis was married to each other. <laughs> and Elvis the butcher, the rancher, the veterinarian, the shopkeeper, Elvis the secretary. Elvis worked at the bank, delivered mail, doled out donuts and change, dropped the kids off at their bus stop. He was also a few dogs. <laughs> so Elvis, America's king, and these birds, but only birds in the way a shark is a fish. Like a new take on something you keep contained in your house, you keep harmless in your mind, can both cut you in half. As our cameras gazed at him, the lights illuminating his bumpy features boom mic poised over his head, a rancher told us that ostriches were big chickens. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I try to be respectful, but this dude who was dumb enough to think ostriches were big chickens told us they were dumb because they were big chickens. Shaking his head, he rolled his eyes at the unimaginable idiocy of not being human. <laughs> English isn't even their second language. These dummies don't talk at all. <laughs> Thinking he was better than other creatures, the American joke, I found this terrifying and heartbreaking. Do you think you're better than other people too? <coughs> Worse than other people? What did you forget? The ostriches were misplaced soldiers, confused and ready for battle, seemed real edgy. We filmed their lost stares, almost silent, not truly silent. And Elvis the butcher, the ostrich butcher, so oddly still, mannequin still, sniper still, not sure the guy breathed. He was huge, oily, and shy. I liked him. He told me that the ostrich bodies are like ours, so he felt like he was butchering himself and that his knives must be sharp in order to do this well. His belt buckle was bigger than my face. <laughs> Sometimes I just sit in my truck watching them, he said, put the radio on and watch their feathers blow in the wind. I watch for hours. They're real, real pretty. And he was the one who killed them and chopped them up. I tried watching them, Elvis Butcher style, watching feathers blow in that husked green wind. The dude was onto something. Death was fully present for him and he so admired life. His equation was weighted in both directions, mastering stillness to absorb movement. He couldn't help it. Guilelessly childlike to live in the sphere of your senses, knives present, no weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> 